Hi guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland and this short video is going to deal with number conversions, number conversions and more importantly we're going to concentrate on converting octal numbers into decimal numbers. So into decimal numbers. Okay? Octal numbers are also known as base base 8 numbers and decimal numbers are also known as base base 10 numbers. Okay? Actually we're going to convert from octal to decimal and we're also going to convert back again from decimal to octal. So all of our numbers that we're dealing with, no matter what the base, we say that the numbers are, are I suppose, from a positional number system, okay? where each number or each digit within the number itself yeah, okay, has a particular position. Okay? In octal, there is only eight particular digits that the numbers can be composed of. Uh, they are the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six and seven there's eight digits that an octal number can be composed of in decimal there's ten digits that a decimal number can be composed of that's zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and there's ten digits in these numbers here okay so let's have a look at an octal number and let's convert it to decimal okay so let's take the number two three five in base 8 okay it's in octal yeah and let's convert it to decimal so because it's a positional number system yeah okay 5 represents how many multiple powers of 8 to the power of zeros there is okay so 5 tells us that there should be 5 8 to the zeros in this number okay 3 tells us there should be 3 8 to the ones and 2 tells us that there should be 2 8 squares so this number is the same as but there should be 5 8 to the zeros, and there should be 3 8 to the ones, and there should be 2 8 squareds, okay? Which is the same as saying there should be 5 8 to the zeros is 1, plus there should be 3 8, and there should be 2 64s, yeah? Which gives us a value of 5 plus 24 plus. 200 and sorry 120 128 so what do we have we have 128 and 24 gives us 152 152 and 5 gives us 157 in base 10 so the octal number 235 in base 8 is equivalent to the decimal number 157 in base 10 okay so that's converting from octal into decimal now let's concentrate on converting from decimal back to octal. Yeah? So to convert from decimal to octal, we're going to take our decimal number. Let's take this number here, uh, 157 in base 10. And we want to go to base 8, so we're going to successively divide 157. We're going to keep dividing that by 8 because this is the new base that we want to go into. Okay, so 157 okay, divided by 8 goes... 19 times with a remainder of so to calculate the remainder we're going to say 157 minus 8 times 19 so 157 minus 8 times 19 gives us a value of 5 so 8 goes into 157 19 times with a remainder of 5 okay what about 8 into 19 so 8 into 19 8 into 19 goes twice okay with a remainder of 3. Okay. What about 8 into 2? Well, 8 divided into 2 won't go, and the remainder is 2. So once again, like when we're converting from binary to decimal, and decimal to back to binary, when we're converting, when we're converting back, we stop when the divisor, when our divisor won't go in to our number any more times. Okay. So this number here now is the new octal number. This represents the most significant digit, and this represents the least significant digit in our number. So the octal number is, in this direction, from least significant digit across the most significant digit, is 5, 3, 2. And this is in base, base A. Okay guys, I hope that, that uh, I suppose, was informative and helped you in relation to your number conversions from octal to decimal. 
Okay. Just to recap, it doesn't matter what the number is. Okay. If you're in a particular base, each position within the each position within the number represents how many multiple powers of the base number there is. Okay. Uh, and that number then converts to the decimal is just a summation of each of them products. Yeah. Converting back into a non-decimal base, okay, we successfully divide by the new base number that we want to convert to, okay, to give us the number within this new base. Remember that the least significant digit is always on the top here, and the most significant digit is on the bottom. Okay, so thank you for your time. Uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland.